Are you struggling to find high quality resources for your website or your promotional materials? Well, you're in the right place because in this video I'm going to share with you how to download stock photos for free. I'm going to walk you through my favorite stock photo websites. They have such a vast array of beautiful photography. The great thing about these websites is they are free to use for commercial purposes and you don't have to give attribution, although the photographers obviously prefer to be attributed if possible. And if you stick around to the end of the video, I'll share with you some extra tips to show you how to get the most out of these websites. Hi, I'm Aiden Quigley from aq.ie and welcome to my YouTube channel where I talk about tech, web design and branding. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through my top resources for royalty-free imagery and photography. If you like the video, let me know by giving it a thumbs up, hitting the subscribe button and hitting the bell button to turn on post notifications. Let's get into it. So the first website that I want to mention is pexels.com. Now, I first heard about Pexels when I was working for GCN Magazine as their web content editor. In my role, I had to create a lot of content for the website and find appropriate imagery to put alongside it, which was difficult until a friend of mine and artist, Will St. Ledger, showed me Pexels.com. And this website is great because it has a really high caliber of photography and it has some really good search options. When Will told me about it, it revolutionized my workflow and saved me a lot of time trying to find high quality imagery to accompany the articles on the website. So thank you, Will, for your help and I'm passing it on to you, the viewers. If you want to find out more about Will St. Ledger, check out the description below where I've linked his website. With Pexels, you have tens of thousands of really high quality photos to choose from across a variety of topics. If you find the video useful, give it a thumbs up to show you like it, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell button to turn on post notifications. So Pexels rocked my world for a few years and then I discovered Unsplash, which is another high quality photography website that leans a little more towards editorial style photography. And I would say it's a really high caliber of imagery that you're getting on this website as well. The photos on Unsplash are a little more editorial in style and you can probably see that from scrolling down the landing page when you go to unsplash.com. Which of these two is your favorite royalty-free image website? Let me know in the comments below. The bonus tip that I said I'd share with you is how to search on the websites to get the most out of them. With Pexels, you can search by image orientation, image size, or image color. So the orientations, you can pick horizontal, you can pick vertical, and you can pick square. For size, you are talking about different resolutions. So if you want something that's really high resolution, you can pick the highest one here. And as well, you can select by color. So if you want to pick from the colors that are there, you can do that. And you can also pick the hex code for your brand or campaign that you're working on and you can put that in too to get photography that matches that. And then for Unsplash, you can do a reverse image search. So say you find an image that you want to match, like the one of the Statue of Liberty that I have here. You have an example or a screenshot of what you're looking for that you can just pop that into the search and it's going to return images that look like that or have a similar compositional style. Now that you know about Pexels and Unsplash, let me know in the comments which one you found most useful. And if you have any other royalty-free websites that you think I should check out, let me know as well. If you like this video and want to see more content like this, let me know by giving the video a like, hitting the subscribe button and hitting the bell button to turn on post notifications. Before you go, check out this other video over here that shows you seven free apps for Mac that help you to boost productivity. Thanks for watching.